Alright guys, I'm doing this video here for a friend of mine on YouTube, Jan. This video goes out to you. Um, trying to get a formal A together. Having some problems with the electrical system. Uh, the magneto was uh, kind of messed up. And uh, so, we're going to try to go through some steps here. And clear everything up for you. And um, hopefully this will be helpful to others. First off, I recommend these two books. Alright, the Blue Ribbon Service uh, course. Magnetos, alright? Um, very good book. Alright? And this one here also, this is regular service manual. You see it's for the formal AAV, BBN, and other international tractors. Right? There's a lot of manuals on eBay, you'll see. These two I've found to be the best. Um, so, I recommend you getting them when you can. But in the meantime, this is the exploded uh, kind of view of the um, H4 Magneto, used on many, many uh, formal tractors, as you guys know. Um, again, I'm talking here to um, uh, help people who don't know nothing at all about these things. I'm not an expert, just sharing what knowledge I might have, okay, because I've been through this before with several. Okay, so here's the H4 Magneto, okay? All right, get a close look at it. You can see what she looks like. So you know you're talking about the same magneto. All right, on the A, the Bs, uh, I believe even the H's have the same magneto. But at any rate, this one came off an A. This is my uh, backup magneto, which I bought on eBay for, I think, uh, $95. Um, and uh, so this is what we're going to go through. When you're looking at the magneto, obviously this is the, the cap, okay, goes on the top here. Okay, obviously this is the cap. Four screws off, unveils the, the coil. Now I want you to notice, in every place where metal comes into metal, there is a gasket. Every place I show you here. Very, very important. You have gaskets, because moisture is the killer of anything electrical. Okay, moisture gets in there, you're not going to have a good spark. Okay, so with that said, let's move on. Here's the inside, okay? Here's the coil. Look down inside there, you see the condenser. Okay, you see one wire here coming from the top of the coil down to the condenser. Okay? Now on the face side here, this plate here you're looking at comes off. That's the plate. You see the two spring clips that hold the distributor cap? That comes off with three screws. The center piece there, there are gears under there. Unless you are opening that up for the purpose of greasing those gears or servicing them, I do not recommend you disturbing those gears. Because it can throw off your timing and screw things up terribly. Alright? So, uh, better leave that alone if you're just starting out. Alright? Now, uh, again, the three screws, you can see. One, two, three. They come off. That cap comes off. And that's where your points are hiding. Down inside there. It's like everything on this magneto is hidden. Points are down inside the there. Now you look at the points, and there's one wire from the points, from the bottom insulated tab on those points. There's one wire that runs down around. Looking at the screen here, it's to the right side, down and around. That wire runs down and around through here and connects to the condenser. The so one wire from the points, one wire from the condenser, one wire from the coil are all connected together, all right, at the condenser. The most important thing is that they cannot be touching a ground. Even one fray of wire touching a ground and you're screwed. They cannot be touching a ground. Okay? Now, that condenser sits down inside there. And um, it's, uh, it's held in place by this screw here. See the little tab on that screw? Okay? That goes down in here. In the back side and holds that condenser in place and it also gives it the ground that little tab on the casing gives it the sure ground the casing must be grounded all right now on the front side here now I know when yours Jan you are missing this insulated plug here so to speak okay see the insulated plug that is insulated with the screw in the middle okay that screw goes through and touches the condenser, thus um, causing 
uh, contact between that screw and the condenser. Now, if there is a wire connected from that screw to a ground, it will kill the motor. And that is your cutoff switch. A wire coming basically from your condenser to where uh, you can use a toggle switch, anything you need. I know you're missing this. On my other video you've seen, I just have a wire coming out and I have it sealed up with silicone. That insulated cap there is what you're missing. A wire must come through there to a switch to a ground. On this one here, you got that screw there, okay, which is insulated. So a wire connects to that screw, and then it goes up to a cutoff switch, and that's how the, uh, the original uh, system worked, okay? But again, like myself, you are missing that piece, so you have to improvise. But again, all three wires connect together, all right? And um, that's all there is to it, all right? Many people are afraid to work on magnetos. They think they're very, very complicated. They're really not, okay? Um, when you get into the, into the gears, etc., yes, they can get very complicated. But um, the, uh, the simple ignition system is not. The biggest problem which I had was that condenser where the wires connect down in here where my finger is, where the wires connect down in there is very, very tight, very tight. And thus, one little fray of wire can touch a ground without you knowing it. I actually have used that, um, what they call liquid tape. It comes in a can with a brush. You brush it on, and it hardens, causing, uh, giving you some insulation. You might want to try that. But um, if, it doesn't, if that doesn't work, then you just connect the three wires, seal them up as best you can, and have your wire coming out the front. You cannot be touching a ground. That's the most important thing. Okay, now while I'm doing everything else, I'll show you this. The, um, the setting of the points, if I can show you. Okay, you got to turn it to the high point. That's your high point on the cam. Okay, see those points are open. The high point on the cam. Okay, at that point for magnetos. It's 0 0.013. For distributors, I believe it's 0 0.020. But for magnetos, it's smaller. Because magneto gives a, it gives a bigger spark. It's smaller. So, that should cover everything for you. And, um, again, the wires must not touch metal any way, shape, or form. And uh, even on the side, see the side cover here for the condenser, access for the condenser? Even that has a gasket. Okay, everything that is a um, an exit to the exterior of the uh, magneto must have a gasket. Very, very important. Okay, because uh, without gaskets, uh, the moisture gets in there, and once that moisture gets in there, see even here, see the gasket on there. Okay, once the moisture gets in there, you, you you're just going to go crazy. Trying to figure out what's wrong with your magneto. And the moisture gets in there and uh, the uh, electricity cannot flow. So the gaskets are utmost importance. And the, uh, the wires, those three wires connected cannot touch any ground. Okay, they go to a kill switch. Which one side of the kill switch comes from the magneto. One side of the kill switch goes to a ground. You throw the switch, you're grounding it. That's what kills the engine. I hope this is helpful, Jan. And, um... Any other questions, I'm, I'm more than happy to help you. Just uh, shoot me a line. But I hope this helps uh, some other guys out there. Um, I have a video up about um, external uh, coil. Should you um, diagnose your system and find out that your coil is bad, these coils can be very expensive. I have a video up about external coil. You can uh, just uh, put that into search and you'll, or just uh, check my, my page and you'll find it. And uh, that'll solve that problem. So, all right, guys. I uh, hope this is helpful again. And uh, any other questions, just uh, shoot me a line. Book them, Daniel.